The superior capsular reconstruction is for massive, irreparable rotator cuff tears with minimal to no arthritis and a fully functioning deltoid muscle. With the arthroscope through the lateral portal, an advisor portal is created. A 3.0 mm biocomposite suture tack anchor is placed percutaneously medial to the labrum and posterior. An anterior superior portal is created, and a second suture tack is placed anteriorly. Through a superior lateral portal, two 4.75 mm biocomposite vented swivel lock anchors with attached swedge fiber tapes are placed into the medial row at the greater tuberosity, one anterior and the second posterior. Using the attached number two fiber wire to each anchor, an intraarticular measurement device is used to measure the distance between each of the anchors, medial, lateral, anterior, and posterior. The Arthroflex dermal allograft is 3.5 mm thick and is cut and prepared for the arthroscopic measurements from the anchors. Using a punch, holes are created at the four points corresponding to the four anchors to help the sutures slide through the graft without catching and twisting the graft. The sutures are then brought out the passport cannula, one anchor set at a time. We recommend keeping the sutures separated into quadrants and applying tension to the suture limbs to decrease the chance of tangling the sutures. After the sutures are passed through the cannula, each suture set is passed through their respective punched hole in the graft. Medially, one fiber wire limb from each suture tack is tied together. Laterally, one fiber wire limb from each swivel lock is tied together. This creates two double pulley systems, one medial and one lateral. The orthoflex graft is then introduced through the passport and into the subacromial space using a kingfisher grasper. By pulling the limbs from each double pulley, the graft will set itself into position medially and laterally. The medial double pulley sutures are brought through the divisor portal and tensioned. The lateral double pulley is tightened by pulling on its sutures. A bone hole is prepared through the divisor portal on the medial glenoid neck. A labral swivel lock suture anchor is used to secure the double pulley sutures. The anchor is implanted and the excess sutures are cut. This completes the medial glenoid attachment in a pasta bridge configuration. The blue suture, the posterior limb from the lateral double pulley system, is passed through the residual infraspinatus followed by the white posterior swedged fiber tapes using a scorpion suture passer. This will incorporate the infraspinatus to the speed bridge construct posterior laterally. A socket is punched into the anterolateral aspect of the greater tuberosity. The swedged fiber tapes from the tuberosity anchors are cut and separated. One fiber tape limb from each medial row tuberosity anchor and the sutures from the lateral double pulley are attached to a 4.75 mm vented swivel lock anchor and fixed into the socket. The posterior lateral socket is punched and the remaining fiber tapes are brought posterior lateral to the final swivel lock anchor and fixed in place. This completes the speed bridge configuration on the lateral tuberosity. A number two fiber wire suture is passed through the infraspinatus tendon and into the posterior margin of the graft and tied together for our posterior margin convergence. Anteriorly, a scorpion suture passer is used to pass sutures through the graft and then through the anterior rotator interval tissue. The anterior margin convergence suture is then tied with a knot pusher.
We then performed a medial margin convergence between the anterior tissues and the infraspinatus. This completes the superior capsular reconstruction with infraspinatus repair as seen from the bursal side. And as seen from the articular side.